down here, filthy hollows. I, Uriel Ishida, the last of the Quincy's, challenge you! Is he really the last one? It was thought they all became extinct 200 years ago. Well, not exactly. They were systematically killed by the Soul Reapers. As you can imagine, it was a very difficult and painful decision for the Soul Reapers. But in the end, it became necessary to destroy the Quincy's. Because it was the only way to prevent the destruction of this world. Soul Reapers were also referred to by other names back then. They were called balancers or regulators. What did they balance? The number of souls in the Soul Society and in the human world does not change by much as time goes by. They just trade places between the two worlds. It's the job of Soul Reapers to regulate that. To keep the balance. It worked until the Quincy's disrupted the equation. The Quincy's didn't cleanse the Hollows. They destroyed them completely. This meant that any soul which left the Soul Society for the human world would never return. If things had continued that way, the balance between the two worlds would have collapsed. It would have meant the apocalypse. <laughs> so there were many meetings between the Soul Reapers and the Quincy's, but to no avail. The Quincy's refused to listen to reason. Finally, there was no choice. The order was given for the Quincy's annihilation. Many have accused the Soul Reapers of arrogance for their actions. See how it matters anymore. But I'll tell you one thing I know for sure, Udiu. Your methods are complete. That's all ancient history. I don't care about some slaughter that happened 200 years ago. It's just one more fact that was passed down to me from my sensei. In fact, when I heard that story, I think I sided more with the Soul Reapers than I did with the Quincy's. That is, until my sensei was murdered. But well, why, sensei? How can you say that when it was the Quincy's that were wiped out? It does seem cruel. So many lives were cut short so young. But the memory of those souls who are lost is what is important now. And to worry about who was right and who was wrong is meaningless. We must do all we can to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. That is the lesson I want you to learn. So that such sadness will never again occur in the lives of humans or so. He was a kind gentleman with no hatred in his heart. To the very end, he tried to convince the Soul Reapers that Quincy's were necessary. He kept encouraging them to work together, suggesting new ways to fight the Hollows. But the Soul Reapers always had the same answer to his efforts. Don't interfere with our work. Five Hollows appeared surrounded Sensei. It was obvious that he couldn't take them on his own. One soul reaper came to his aid. This is so important. Why I have to prove to you and to all Soul Reapers the superior strength of the Quincy? I realize that our methods are different, that our ways of thinking are in opposite poles. So if you really believe my way is wrong, then stay back. Watch. Watch is the true power. Shut up already! What is your problem? You messed up your own story. Your sensei will watch you through the strength of the Quincy. Isn't that right? Come on, think about it. When will you ever have a better 
chance to do that than right here, surrounded by enemies. You say we're at opposite poles, but I say when two warriors are heavily outnumbered, the trick is to fight back to back. Very well. 